you ever notice that when you fall for someone, all you can think about, like everything that takes up the small amount of space in your brain is each stupid little normal detail about them. <laughs> like how they can make a room smell like a tropical rainforest when they walk in, or how their hair caresses the edge of their face when the wind blows a little too hard, <laughs> or how they even wiggle in their seat because they really have something they need to say and nobody's listening. How they say your name. And then they leave. Yeah, every morning I try to convince myself that I've let go, that I've forgotten, and I live my life. Until I get home after a long day of work, get in bed, and suddenly every single warm, gentle thought rushes over me. And it's crazy, because I don't even want to think about it. You know what it's like? Falling in love with the wrong person is like getting a drunk tattoo. <laughs> yeah, it's amazing that first minute you get it and you can't help but rave about it. And then a few days go by and you look at it and you ask yourself what in the world made you do it. But it's too late. It's already a part of you, it's already part of your body. And yeah, it's fading and fading and fading until it's barely noticeable there but it still is on your skin. But there are moments when you remember how nice that ink shined, when it was fresh, or how hard you fought to protect it from getting infected in the pool, or how you showed it off to all your friends. That tattoo fades, that person leaves, and they're still buried underneath your skin. Except they're in the back of your head and your mind as memories. <laughs> so I ask myself, do I want to forget? I don't even think I can answer that honestly. Because I swear to God I do, and then there are days where I can't help but think about how beautiful it all was, and I fall in love again.